Okay, I have an update on this open reduction internal fixation that I had done a year and one month ago. Uh, to make a long story short, I had unnecessary metal plate surgery on my uh, tibia pylon fracture uh, because the uh, sneaky snake evil creepy doctors, they don't give you any uh, casting option. Always remember, you do not need metal plate surgery there is always an option where you can choose to have a cast on your leg. You don't want to introduce any unnecessary stress to the soft tissue. Because that is the biggest problem that you're going to have besides the ugly uh, scarring. Now, here's the metal plate that was maliciously put in my leg. And I received it from the... Uh, doctors along with 13 screws uh they didn't give me the screws i have no reason i have no idea why they didn't give me the screws okay i was in horrific pain for a year they told me i had to wait a whole year to have this um, metal plate and 13 screws removed uh coincidentally there were two uh plates in there um the other plate i have no idea where it is i think it's in it's still in my room um i was in horrific pain for over a year, I you you will feel that evil metal plate in there. It will burn, it will sting, it will cause you to walk with a limp. Uh, you will feel the stabbing pain from all those screws. That plate in alone uh, alone is is a horrible feeling to have inside your leg. Horrible. I feel so much better now, even though. Um, I'm a little stiff from all the stitches and everything, but I'm uh, due to have the uh, stitches removed uh, tomorrow. And um, I feel so much better uh, just, just having that out of uh, my body. Don't ever let anybody trick you into getting uh, metal plate surgery that you don't need. Okay, when they put an external fixator on your leg, that means your bones are, have already been lined up correctly. So... When you when you have the um, uh, bones lined up correctly, you can transition from the external fixated to a uh, cast, an air cast, or a uh, a metal boot. Um, so I'm going to show you my X-rays with the external fixator on there to prove to you that I did not need metal plate surgery. Now I don't know if this image is altogether that clear, but here. Is my leg? What are, what are we doing? Oh. Here's my leg, and the fracture is more or less right there. And as you can see, the bones are lined up correctly, 100% correctly. So I did. There, there's the here. Let me let me point it out to you. Here's here's the external fixator. Over here, over here, here's the fracture area right here. And you can see that everything's lined up correctly. I did not need no uh, metal plate surgery. I uh, was not given a, a cast option uh, because this uh, bill was actually $115,000 for the uh, sneaky, creepy, evil uh, metal plate surgery. Try walking around with this inside your leg for a year and 13 screws and 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 you you want to you want to know you want to feel pain um do your own homework get your own set of x-rays from the hospital and they will have your x-rays on uh cd uh take them home review them on your computer in my case, I did I did all my homework after the fact because uh, when when he put the metal plate inside my leg, and I realized how uh, how much pain I was in, then I started to do uh, the necessary homework that I should have done before I agreed to have any uh, metal plate surgery. You will see all kinds of videos from these creepy, no good Jew doctors on um, YouTube. Uh, promoting metal plate surgery, but not a single one of them will tell you how horrible it is, how painful it is, 
and how invasive invasive it is and how damaging it is to your uh, soft tissue my soft tissue is is never going to uh recover 100% to uh where uh I was before this uh fracture and another thing is you you don't want to put yourself through any um surgery because there's there's risks involved in uh surgery you could get infections um you could uh lose your limb um there's so many complications with surgery if you don't need surgery don't let any sneaky, uh, creepy uh, doctor uh, trick you into uh, getting uh, metal plate surgery. Um, go get multiple opinions from multiple different doctors. Go see your primary care physician. Even though he's not an orthopedic, he can x-ray your uh, fracture and he can give you an honest opinion because he is a medical doctor. And with that, then then you have an edu then you've been educated. Now you have an educated opinion as to what needs to be done and why. And um, I hope this video is informative to uh, anybody. Uh, you know, the biggest problem with uh, people is because they are stupid. And they believe everything that these creepy, evil doctors are telling them. And that's how they get uh, stuck. Because once they perform uh, surgery on you, the damage is done. There's no reversal on any kind of surgery. Once they, you let them cut you open, you, you're done. You're, you, you, the damage is going to be done. You can't sue them. Because you sign a paper before you have the surgery. I agree not to sue, blah, 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 sue. You know, I have the paperwork. Um, I hope this video is informative to uh, anybody that uh, ha has a, a fracture and uh, is looking to get better and back to health. All right, over and out.